Hatsuyuki Sakura, a fairly highly regarded visual novel, was recently released officially in English for the first time. This visual novel originally released in Japanese in 720p, while the new release is in 1080p. However, while the new release has a higher resolution, I would argue that the visuals are way worse. The reason for this is that the artwork has been upscaled to 1080p, and the method they used to upscale it was bafflingly bad. In this video, I will first go through how I found out about this poorly used upscaling, then I will show some comparisons between the original art from the Japanese release and this new release, then compare the artwork found in the new release with other upscaling methods to showcase how bad this method of upscaling that they used is. Now, the reason I found out about this is because I'm kind of weird. When I finish a visual novel, I like to collect all the CGs from the visual novel, which I do either through extracting the files, or if this isn't possible, through taking screenshots of all the CGs. Hatsuyuki Sakura is a visual novel that I finished earlier this year in Japanese, so I have all the CGs as image files. Because of how much of an artistic bastard I am, I want to have the best versions of these CGs, so I figured I would replace the ones I took from the Japanese release in 720p with the new high-res versions from the English release. First, I downloaded the free 18 plus patch since I knew that at the very least it would contain the 18 plus artwork. I then extracted all of the CGs using Garbro. Here, I found not only 18 plus stuff but also some CGs from all ages scenes. To make sure that these were in fact better than the 720p ones, I did some comparisons, and I found that a lot of details were missing, and that the lines were smoothed out clearly showing that the artwork had been upscaled. Here are some comparisons between the native 720p release and the English release. It should be pretty easy to see that a lot of details have been washed out, especially if you focus on the grass, the eyes, the blush, and the trees. This next example isn't as bad, as some of the rough edges from the originals are smoothed out, but some lines in the buildings in the back are almost gone and the tree loses detail. The last one I will show I think is pretty bad. Most of the details of the wall is gone, the dolls have lost multiple eyelashes, and details are washed away from the menu. I did not look into the character sprites and the normal backgrounds, but I would assume that they also use the same upscaling. One thing that makes this particularly bad is that it's very easy to do a way better job of upscaling yourself than what has been done for this new release. When I read visual novels, I often use a program called Magpie, which upscales a visual novel that is windowed to full screen in real time, as you read. Here are some comparisons to screenshots I took with Magpie. As you can see in these examples, while the upscaling of Magpie isn't perfect, it manages to retain a lot more details from the original image than the new release. In all of these examples, most of the major issues found in the new release is fixed. So if you wanted 1080p, then using Magpie or other upscaling programs yourself on the original release will give you a much better result. Magpie, of course, is a rather rough upscaler, as it needs to be able to upscale in real time as you're reading the visual novel. If you were to instead upscale each individual image with a decent upscaler, you would get a much better result. Personally, I also like to have a copy of the CGs I collect in 1440p, and for this I use Wi-Fi 2X, which I think works pretty well. So here are some comparisons with Wi-Fi 2X where I upscale the image to 1080p. Here the details are a lot clearer, and I have a problem finding anything really wrong with any of the images. Wi-Fi 2X is fairly old, so there probably are other better upscalers out there, but I think it does a pretty good job of showcasing just how terrible of a job they did when upscaling the artwork for Hatsuki Sakura in this new release. 
personally, I would rather have visual novels released with original artwork without any upscaling, and then if I want to increase the resolution myself, I can use Magpie. But if Saga Planet, Hickory Field, Nekunyan, or whoever was responsible for this upscale job really wants to upscale the artwork, I would recommend that they actually use a decent upscaler. All they would have to do is download a free program like Wi-Fi 2X and use that to upscale the original art. This would probably take about one hour to do. And then they would have a much, much better looking release. So in conclusion, I think the upscale job was pretty terrible and I hope they won't do this for future releases. A lot of visual novels have really good artwork and I don't want this to be ruined by really bad upscaling.